Hey guys, it's Jo from Sudaisy. Something a little bit different from my plan with me today. I'm going to be unboxing Under the Rowan Trees Let's Play box, which, uh, spoiler alert, was um, we collaborated with Under the Rowan Trees for this one. So there is an Up to Daisy stencil in here. And then what I'm going to do is put together a spread with that stencil and with some of the bits from inside the box. So if you are signed up for Under the Rowan Trees um, subscription and you haven't got your box yet and you don't want to know what's in there, then stop the video now and maybe save it somewhere um, for watching back once you have got it um, but otherwise keep watching we're gonna do some planning um, and I'm gonna link under the Rowan trees in the description underneath the video so make sure you go check out the website it's another UK based stationery shop um, Danielle's awesome who runs under the Rowan trees so very much recommended okay and also I should say I bought this box, it wasn't gifted, so this isn't an ad, <laughs> even though um, my stencil is inside there. Um, it, it's something that I have subscribed to, so yeah. Okay, are you ready? So the theme to the box is Let's Play, so it's all kind of game themed. You will notice that the tissue paper is torn because I got very excited when it arrived and ripped it open, not thinking about my unboxing. So once we open the box, you have a little leaflet here which lists all of the things that are inside the box. I'm going to put that to one side. We have a really handy pencil, which if you're anything like me, I go through pencils like nobody's business. We have this great art print, which is lovely. It's a really thick card, which could either go in your journal or you can use it as a... I was thinking about maybe having it as a something that opens and you can write on the back of it in the journal. There's that. I'm going to come to those in a second. Uh, playing card, postcard. What I think in, at the moment with lockdown and everything, I'm using tons of like note cards and postcards, so this is really handy. Just sending little messages to, to people that I'm maybe not seeing as much as I normally would. Everyone loves happy mail, so yeah, you could either stick this in your journal. Um, it could be a great cover page, actually, for a month. And I love that it's a queen, not a king. Um, very feminist. Um, so yeah, you could pop that in your journal or you could use it as a postcard. We also have your monthly kind of cover page, calendar page. Um, you get this in every one of the, the Under the Round Trees boxes. There's a version of this which has whatever the theme there is in it, which is really handy. Saves you writing out your, your diary. Oh, we have a colouring page, and this was designed by a friend of Oopsa Daisies as well, which is Snail Scribbles. Um, it's a really fab colouring page. There's loads on there. Um, all different games and things and I'm going to use this in a slightly different way in the spread that I'm going to set up in a second What I also like is that this is on some really nice thick card So it works really well for how I'm going to use it in a minute and because we've got a coloring page We've also got some coloring pencils Which again always come in handy and I'm gonna try these out And give you a bit of a review when I get into the game um Faber Castle um, fine liner pen. Ooh, if I've got something I can test this out on. It is a, let's see how thick it is, 0.5. It's quite nice and thin. Great for bullet journaling. It's a fine, um, but it says 0.5 on the side. It's waterproof. Um, so yeah, really handy. You have a dice, or a die, I should say. No, hold on, I think dice is more, is singular. Getting myself confused. Anyway, I'm gonna use this in the spread that I'm about to do in a second. And then last but not least, ooh, is the Oops a Daisy stencil. I should cover that so that it's only people that get the box that get the code. Um, there is a discount code for, for customers on there if you're new to Ips Daisy. And the stencil is, oh, it's a super easy stencil, which is one of the, the larger stencils that's designed to fit on um, an A5 page and trace out in whole. And it's all about setting up a game in your journal. So I was thinking about how I can use it, and there's loads of different ways. You could use this as a tracker, so you follow the game round 
as you, I don't know, savings goal, weight loss goal, um, couch to 5K I'm doing now. But I'm gonna use it slightly differently. So let's pop open my journal. And grab a pen. Make sure this is the right note, is it? I'm really good at uh, switching my lids around on my pen, <laughs> so I think I'm using a 0.3, but actually it's 0.5, that's the one I want. So what I'm going to do is create a spread that is a game board, like a playing, uh, like a board game, but with a bit of a twist that it's going to be my to-do list um, and anyone that follows up to Daisy will know that next weekend is our virtual summer party I've got quite a lot of things I need to get done in order to be ready for that summer party so what I'm going to do is create a game board um, split up my things to do um, and basically as I complete the things to do I complete the game what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the spread I will stop talking because I can't talk and draw at the same time and at the end I'll come back to you and I'll talk you through my idea. Okay, so this is my completed to-do list game um, that I created. So basically what, how it works, <laughs> I've made up the rules to my own game, is that I write all my tasks in my to-do list and as you can see there are numbers on the dice next to each one. So when I want to play, I roll my dice, it's a three, so I have to do something out of the three section. I can pick which one I want to do. Once I've completed it, I move forward one step on the game and I can colour that brick in. The twists are when I get to either the music note, the T or the heart, 
basically these are breaks in my to-do list. So the first one, when I get to then, and I step onto this one, um, I stop, I listen to a song, have a dance, chill out, and then I move forward one. And then I carry on with that. If I hit a tea, I can have a cup of tea. And if I hit a heart, then I can do something nice and self carey So, I don't know, read a chapter of a book, um, go for a little walk outside, grab some fresh air, cuddle with the animals. Um, yeah, so that I'm breaking up the monotony of the to-do list. So I'm really pleased with how this turned out. I quite like the, uh, the fun of it. I've just added some kind of splotches of colour. I've put a snake and a ladder on it just to make it more board game-like. And I've stuck to quite primary colours because, again, it feels a bit more game-like. Um, I hope you enjoyed my little plan with me. It was a little bit of a different one um, this time and it's quite nice to be given a theme by somebody else to do. Um, if you're watching this on my YouTube and you aren't a customer of Under the Rowan Trees, definitely head over, have a look in their shop, give them a follow on Instagram or Facebook. Um, they're a lovely company and sell tons of really lovely stuff. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Take care.